Hey class, so who can tell me the trifecta? No one? Okay, let's go over it. So, first we're going to start with our grass. Everyone knows how pretty this grass is. What is the closest section of focus in your picture? What is this called? Gray. Good job. Foreground. Now, we're going to do the middle of the picture. Or sometimes it doesn't have to be the middle of your picture. But for right now, it is. When am I drawing a bridge that doesn't make any sense? That is a wonderful bridge. What is the second level called? I'll give you a hint, it's in the middle. Middle ground. All right, last but not least, what is the back part of this picture called? Background. We're gonna draw mountains. We're gonna have little clouds surrounding. That is so cute. Background. And this marker is out. Okay, great, we love that. Background, beautiful. All right, what would you use the trifecta for? You could move around your focus. You definitely don't want all of your subject material in the middle of your paper, because that's boring. And you're not boring because you're talented. What else can you use it for? Make good art. And the last and final gives you depth. So, this is what the trifecta is used for. Again, background, middle ground, and foreground. If you forget the trifecta, I don't know but don't forget it.